Hey everyone, welcome to Damai Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host Eddie Wang and uh, we have a new video here today. And uh, we are going to take a look at these matches and this is going to be Filthy Shoe versus Marcy. This is from a tournament and uh, Brother Shoe wanted us to look at this uh, to see why he lost so we can give him a perspective and we are going to take a look into it but before we take a look into him let's take a look at his profile because i like to watch a statistics a lot and i can see that his defense seems to be 69 is probably the lowest it uh, not only lower than technique so he is not as precise uh, but he attacks a lot he has a great spirit and a great appeal so he customizes a lot but you guys can see his main stats here dominance uh, heavy damage execution probably and attack frequency it means that he presses a lot of buttons maybe so we are going to take a look at this so let's start with these matches of course this we are going to take a look Get at this from from shoes perspective right so we can give an idea and let's see how this goes let me just make myself a little bit more uh, prepared to this all right so this right here that's safe so there is nothing that he can do about it but what I like to do in such scenarios is either down four, but back to one is also great because when you condition a lot of people with down four, they tend to start ducking. So you get to use back to one a lot. That is great. But you guys can see how he attacks pretty often, right? So that happens. You guys can see right here, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attacks, right? Take a look at his rhythm. His pam, 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 pam. And then again, and then a hit burst happens, right? Nice tech. Remember guys, see this, see this, uh, see this, Shoe immediately blocks. He tries to backdash, but since the render pressed immediately the jab to check him, and not mid, not low, really just highs. It gives him the chance to block this move, that's because it was Rainer stone, and now he backs away from it, but not enough to get hit by a health sweep and now the lows are start to coming out and this i like this i like this this is great because it minus one but remember what i said when you do something like this this is meant to trigger a reaction the electric is a good choice and as you guys can see the rainer player ducked uh, maybe mid check next time but that's it's a good information to know it's a good information to know right here how many is this? That's money 16. So this can be launched, right? This one can be launched. So it's just knowledge stuff. Let's see if we can do a takeover here. We want the right ones. Right here. We didn't do that. right here that would be GG's right let's see what it does it does that the electric steel stone is riding alright nice hit engage it's much sorry so that was great, first round, 
man, he ducked. Did he duck that? Where did he go? Which round are we? This is round two, right? Wait, what happened? It did a sidestep. Sidestep right, but you, the character went left. Why? Nice tech. Alright. What happened here? Alright, so. This is important. Let's see how we can do this. Take over. Right here is one of the reasons why I like to do this. See that? It's why I like the, the, the median line so much. It's mostly because of this. It's mostly because of this. So you want to, to react immediately whenever you can. That got hit maybe because he went to that side. See that? It's because he went to that side. But on instance, when you have these small widths, you want to hit engage immediately. Right here. That's important. Oh man, oh man. He goes. Oh man. Right here. Also right here. Right here. You step that to react immediately with one plus two. That is crucial. That is crucial. That right here, my friends. This. That is crucial. Even if you can't do that, try something else. Something like this. Yeah, that works too. But if you can't do that, because it's hard to punish with ECD1, right? Since it's hard, just react immediately you you will gain a lot of health if you are losing you gain hit engagers it's amazing actually one of the best hit engagers in the game too slow it didn't launch but it's okay it's a punish nice didn't capitalize so maybe execution much execution yes it dropped that combo right didn't punish this this needs to be punished now he's just watching a movie right here there is a punish here we can see it. there is a punish right here he didn't punish it Another punish that he didn't capitalize. He went for the low instead. And paid for it. Oh man. So this should be at least 2 to 3, right? At this point. Another throw he didn't break. And this match would be a 2-2 two -two, or maybe a 2-1. Nice electric. Oh man, why did you do that? Take your damage. Here he goes. Don't touch it. Nice. Perfect. 
that was great great control of the match so there isn't much to nice right here this is something that i'm learning as well uh actually this is one of the reasons why i lost in the tournament that i went where i got fourth place i actually could get a better place but i lost mostly because of this uh, i am at plus two at minus one and i want to take turns i get greedy and this happens uh, you have to earn like uh, those things so i'm going to show you what you could be doing in this case this backdash right and then just react that's minus 13 see backdash and react to this now you have the advantage right hit one of the weak one of the ways that you can do it other way is like that or this this never fails uh this this actually kills a lot of a lot of stuff in the game or you can this this is something that i'm learning as well and um, it's a gate that opened recently when i find out that i used to take a lot of turns and discovered recently that people that make baits like this who try to take turns desperately there is always some weakness that you can exploit and so i i'm currently navigating in that window where i can find a second weaknesses on top of this one so this right here for me it's already a weakness that i can exploit right and uh instead of taking turn i bait them into it so i find this very interesting all right what are you gonna do with it this also works this also works or you can also you can also wish let me just show you right here let's see if we can do it never fails But this is also great, unbreakable damage. That's not punishable, right? Minus 10. I was late. See that? See that? Ace. See that? And it still the turn with a jab into a 1 3. Now he is inviting them in back with 1 3. And he answers that with a jab and it's a down two. Absolute cinema. <laughs> Absolute cinema. A down four and then shoe still system <coughs> with a jab into a one three. One three is minus one, right? So <coughs> you are inviting them in. <coughs> Water, sorry. Still recovering. So, one three is minus one, right? And you inviting them in, and the second they try to get in, they either down to the best move in the game, according to the main man's rule, right? That is godlike. He didn't break his throw, but still winning. Nice punish. And into a throw. Beautiful. So, this was the first match, and it was great. Uh, he played to his strengths. He was varied enough, and uh, there is just really some small things that it needs to be improved. But that is not just like a shoe problem. That is actually a gym player problem. Is when you find those spots, you have to be ready to react all the time. And this is something that I actually I'm building myself into it, and I'm loving it because now I get to be in heat by a lot of time only problem is that Jin hit sucks unfortunately but uh this is useful that useful damage right uh, whenever you need you can do that and you clip 
people by a lot especially because it puts you right under the uh, put you right under the uh, the laser cannon territory right and you want to be that but let's take a look at these two matches this one is 3-2 and this one it seems like Marcy adapt and went OCV on brother shoe so let's take a look at this from shoes perspective again the first match was godlike uh, so let's see how this goes Jin Senpai is already five stepping left. Raiden. This can be parry, right? Let me just find out. Yep, they can. And they are minus 15. Minus 18, actually. You can also do this. You get the point. So consider that. Oh no! The step was great. Uh, the step was great. It just didn't capitalize. Uh, instead of hop kick, Jin hop kick for some reason is always weird. Uh, so what I do in similar scenarios when I am already stepping like that. Is that uh, just too close? No, 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 no. Why is mirroring to the other side? What is happening? The replay is kind of weird in this match. Yep, that is what I wanted. But why is doing on the other side is weird. Man, what are you doing? All right. Why did you wake up with a button here? And another one, side to side step. Oh my God, oh my God. It comes Reina. Okay. No! Man! Why, 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 why? Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, that or... That also works. But what you really want here... What you really want is the jab sequence. Uh, because that gets you away from the wall. Uh, not because it deals a lot of damage, but because it gets you away from the wall. You want to be away from the wall when you are playing Jin, but you want to be against the wall not exactly against but you want your opponent on the wall when you are Jin, and not the other way around right so this one uh man this stage sucks remember that let me just head back that was round one right let me just forward this a little bit right here so that was an input error right right here he is at minus 11 he didn't block this one yeah but how did he block it the one one two right there is some stuff that he could do so this is at least a 10 frame punish he didn't do it nice timing no man no the optimals the optimals right here this is an optimal optimization problem let me show you electric for four oh too far he didn't do it There it goes. 
optimization problem man you had him you definitely had him you had mercy down right here you have to break the wall man nice okay this works too man the freaking wall what are you doing man you lost this on purpose right you lost this on purpose right You lost this on purpose, right? Let me show you another one. Ah, sorry. Ah, I can do this. GG's GG's Oh, also forgot, forgot another one There is also this one There is this one, right? That you did Too far, so that wouldn't that wouldn't get him where he needs. It's mirroring again, so we're gonna have to correct. Man, that's bad. So that's definitely a jab, a jab thing, right? That is a jab thing. If he jab, he would break the other wall, right? What are you doing? It's not enough lows. You should lose this, man. Come on. Yes. No! He panicked. GG, GG. Nice. So you got the win anyway. Right here. Right here. There is your punish. You can also. I know these things are very hard to see uh, in the real match, but uh, it's one of the reasons why I advise a lot of people to always be ready with median line of destruction because one plus two is godlike. It's king in these situations. Someone with the jab on your face, one plus two. Someone with the low in your face, one plus two. Someone with an electric in your face, one plus two. You just said step it a jab. 1 plus 2. You just got into someone's back. 1 plus 2. If you don't want to 1 plus 2, you can do what the other thing that I have shown you guys on this replay, which is 1 to 1. It's a 10 frame jab jab into samsara and no one can block that. If the jab hits, it's going to get into samsara territory. So these are important things to know. You can also parry, but your awareness has to be godlike. Too much big taken. Not enough lows, right? Uh, you can even, you can even, you can even do this. You can even do this. Sorry. 
this or this this <laughs> uh, those if you guys notice my option actually gave him a life lead if not much at the exact health that he lost right here right electric got him moving man oh man sorry what are you doing that long was unnecessary i know a lot of people love down two but down two short of range is a, a use nice perfect that is supposed to be on hit only if you did this on block if you do this uh, since you are already here I always advise either do a low or go for a grab. Uh, let me show you something interesting right here. This. And he didn't even respect it. So one of the things that I always advise after is doing a work standing for immediately. Uh, so this. This would keep them honest, right? Uh, when you are in hit, try that instead of this. While this is a great option. Nice. Nope. Now you're spending it. Nice. Man, what happened? Okay. Oh, I'm pressing button. Sorry. That's round three. No, he lost this round, right? That's round four. Yes. Good. You are at minus three. At these situations, you want to either sidewalk or you want to use a low immediately or you want to backdash. So how do you do this? Take over. Even if you do a 2-1, right? Immediately. Or sidewalk. GG is Reina. Oh, this doesn't work, but you can, uh, you can optimize, which is Kazek, right? Also works, so you can do down four, down four, three, three into, into ECD one, which is guaranteed. No one can escape that. Oh, so I forgot the window. Uh, so right here, right? Sidewalk. This never fails. <laughs> I love this. I just tap into this and I'm finding opportunities to do this all the time. So every time I see a situation that is possible, uh, I immediately look for it. So I have been doing this in matches as well. This is godlike actually. Learn that people, new tech. Right. All right. This was great. This was not. He also dropped. See it right here. Uh, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. So since your opponent is not varying, that's because he's not changing the attacks that's because you are not doing anything to them so i know using Jin parry is a little bit scary in this game but you have to really know exactly when to use them so using replays to practice this option so you get used to it and then you go on and do them on real match sorry i'm coughing again just got some water and uh these are very important to know right 
because apparently this is already a flow chart. All right, but it's just now you're pressing buttons on a predictable rhythm. A predictable rhythm, right? You are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he interrupted you in between. All right, into a throw. Man, all right, that was nice. That was hella good, actually. This was good like show. Now he is doing the exact same thing. See that? This one is minus plus one, minus eight. So this low is very welcome. nice punish nice low I wouldn't do that that is good for combos but not exactly for pressure uh, for pressure I would do the one two version instead of this one let me just show you real quick this one Man, what are you doing Zens in this game? Zen sucks. Nice. Alright. Ah. Uh, reminder people. New combos. You are losing the match. Try this. You are losing a match with Jin. This is your new staple to do 50% damage. You know what happens after? Let me show you. Let me just give him some leeway in order to get more. This should suffice. This. Just take a look at the health difference. <clears throat> Take a look at the health difference. Who's about to win? You seen that shoe? Who is about to win? So this is a staple worth learning. Uh, that's because it puts them into a 50-50 every single time and they have to deal with it. That is almost 50% damage, if not 50% damage. So you want this tapple. You landed a down forward, a, a one standing two. This is the combo you want to go for. Instead of this one, just take a look at the difference of health that... Look at this, look at this. That's pathetic. <laughs> I bet you lost. <laughs> Into a rage art and that's GG's. That is GG's. Tsuni Yugame! Man, that was hard. So, what made you lose in this match? It wasn't actually the mistakes. It was the optimization of combos so you have to know exactly what you are going for when you are dealing damage right uh in the last match it was the wall that you didn't seize and killed you you didn't seize that walls combos that wall breaks and in this one i believe it was this last combo not that you play it bad actually you play it pretty well but that last combo that you didn't capitalize to do the most possible damage into a 50 50 situation that you could probably catch her with a down four after and win the game 
that is why you lost uh but you still play it great actually you play it really well uh so i uh, give shout out, you shout outs to show for this one i know it's by losing that we learn a lot i'm uh, actually taking advantage of this to learn as well because i get to play your replays because i don't play as much online and i actually have been learning a lot quite a lot through replays and through my matches and through online i have been playing ranked <laughs> and i'm almost in the blues as well but this has been an interesting take so let's go for the last match and uh let's see how this goes uh this one was 3-0 right so we just have three rounds man that's tough so let's hope you find marcy next time and take him out that's minus three i like the conservative play but you are watching a movie right now i call it watching a movie that's because you are watching way too much maybe because you want some data but you are at plus two right here uh, so it's not a bad idea to when you are not unsure on things to do do this 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 it's always good to to check out how people are playing just by throwing out some random down twos right they are minus 12 there is no much risk into it it's the same as doing four or three into one actually the four three into one you're doing to people that are ducking a lot uh, the down four you're doing to people that are not ducking at all and you want to see what they're going to do after since it's not plus it's minus one you never overdo it you almost want to always uh, backdash away from it sidewalk away from it that's because these are minus one on, on hit right uh, instead of just watching and backdashing away since none of you have advantage experimenting with these lows it's not a bad idea you are already losing that is a terrible play maybe an input error man now see here well right here right here uh this is the second time i'm showing this right it's the second time I'm showing this. Uh, uh, so always be on the lookout for those wicks, right? Uh, even if you didn't do that. Even if you didn't do that. Even if you didn't do that. That's minus 16, right? This is minus 16. It's something that is good to know. Man, that was tough. Ask him. This is a pattern now, right? Parry this. There is a gap. Parry this. Uh, right here, right here. Same as Devil Jin, but this one is minus two. So what you do in these situations? What you do in these situations? Oh, that's tough. Since this is minus two, this works. Uh, Devil Jeans down four works. Reina down four one works. Uh, but this one seems to be stronger. Remember, guys, this is minus two on block. Devil Jean is minus six. All right. All right. Man, what happened to your controller? All right, now you have no. Uh, it's like you are watching a movie all all the time. 
Man, what the? Now you adjust my shit. <laughs> All right, you, did you just gave up? Oh man, we got you on a hard drive. <laughs> oh man, 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 that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. It got you on a hard drive, man. Yeah, you have to get out of this. You have to put him out of your head. Uh, that was straight set play. Round one. Brother, shoot. That was straight set play. I don't know exactly what you did here. Man, why did you try to dash immediately to someone? Why? Never do that. Never ever dash into someone on the start of a fight never especially if you are Jin you want to be out of those ranges let me show you something real interesting right here right oh man it's so hard to 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 get the the character to stop you want those right you want those uh or this at least uh because that is the only time you got the controller that was the only time you got the controller and i don't know exactly what you were thinking that you were mashing like crazy here a lot of data you were putting in the game and then you had the bright idea of ducking near a wall and that was GG oh man man you are at minus 8 there is nothing you can do here unless guess and you ducked no you didn't duck you tried to hit hit burst oh man, man, man. that was GG straight set play these two rounds you actually gave them away this one too because you started the match with up forward too right here you were watching a movie and this is your turn literally oh no it's not but you duck at war what you were you trying right here what is that Oh man, the, the, the command history is crazy. Why did you do that? Oh man. Man, that was tough. Ah, uh, okay, I'm, let, I'm just going to stop this. And, and heading back to the main menu. Uh, Key advices were already given uh, to show. Right, let's just get back to it real quick. To brother show, this last match was terrible, uh, but it's because you didn't play it to your to your strengths like you did on 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 match one. Right, on match one you you play it really well. On match two you miss it by a combo but right here i just felt like you gave up you didn't poke him with down twos down four sorry uh, you didn't check him with down four ones and round three was just a giveaway you dashed into an electric at the start of a match when he gave you that information right on the first match that he likes to do that i don't know a mishima that doesn't start a match without doing an electric if they don't do an electric immediately, they are going to backdash away from one. Uh, so you have to be really aware against those people because electrics are fast. They are like a jab. So you want to be away from those when it happens. And you want them to whiff right in front of your face so you can launch it. 
Man, he gave you that information. This one was tough, but hope you guys learned a lot from this, especially Shu as well. And hope this doesn't shy him away from sending more matches because we as gym players, we have to be used to situations that are unusual. And there were a lot of unusual situations right here. Things that you can find uh, in order to actually recognize how to apply a certain punish against a specific character. I don't know every single character in the game. I don't play against every single character in the game. So having these replays, match reviews are always good to see because we all get to learn something new. Not only Shu, not only Marcy, but we, the gym community, the gym players get to learn something new. We get to analyze this in the channel and find ways to actually uh, open the guard of the opponents, optimal punishes, positioning and stuff like that. I'm always able to see something new in this replays and I hope this doesn't shy away anyone. If you want to take me to take a look at the matches, just hop on in the Hall of Jin Gods and send your ID. I'm going to take a look at it and I like to do this. Not only this is content for the channel, but I believe this is the best content right now. Uh, and FDX is actually tapping into this as well and I find this very interesting. This is the best type of content for Tekken right now. Replays are godlike and uh, I love this. And a big shout out to Shu for this one. Good luck on the tournament today and let's see what you learn from this and if you play against Marcy after this review please take notes and try to exploit it a little bit more if you want to do a fist to 10 maybe you would learn a little bit more about Reina but uh, those were the key points so hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys on the next one and see you guys soon